There's been uh, record job openings, but unemployment is still high and jobs are going unfulfilled right now. Yeah, experts say there are many different factors as to why. Our Eric Pointer joining us now live from our newsroom with a look at Indiana's response to the situation. Eric, good morning. Well, good morning to you as well. Hoosiers will have to get back to work or prove that they're actively trying to, at least, in order to receive unemployment benefits starting next month. Last month, the American job market added more than 260,000 jobs but many industries say that they are having a hard time filling those positions. Some of the reasons that studies say that could be behind this is the extra $300 a week in unemployment benefits from the government or the fact that nearly 3 million people surveyed by the Bureau of Labor Statistics say that they are reluctant to go back to work for fear of catching the virus. And another factor employers say is keeping them from filling these positions is people not being able to find someone to watch their children. Mostly it's been, you know, childcare, um, you know, with the way schools have still been as well, you know, they, they a lot of uh, moms or dads have had to stay home, um, so they're not available to work. Now, actively searching for work was business as usual pre-pandemic, but now Governor Holcomb's latest executive order may be music to the ears of businesses eager to hire new employees. Some places have had to shorten their hours because of staffing shortages, and you can hear more about their struggle in the next hour of news. In the newsroom, Eric Pointer, back to you.